Well, hello. We are going to uh, just jump in here. We are going to be going over how we did this shot here. If I, it might be a little bit dark right now. Let's brighten this up real quick. As you can see, if you've seen the video, he falls. And pretty much, we're going to be talking about here how he got, you know, so close to the ground in mid fall, you know, without hurting himself, obviously. So, uh, I guess we can go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and start a new composition here, actually. Now we got our original clip here. As you can see, we totally used Where is it? We had totally used a crash a crash pad here. And uh that one probably wasn't all that hard to uh figure out but we actually filmed this at 300 frames a second so this is actually a real slow motion here and this is him actually falling let's, see, let's take a look at that one more time it brightened up So, uh, you'll see in a little bit, um, what we did to, uh, correct this, and, uh, we knew we were going to go through this exact process, and so, uh, let's go. Alright, so, now that we have the original layer here, let's actually cut this down to where the only part that we need, I guess it's start about right here or something, let's cut that. So all we need is probably right before he really starts to hit it here. All right, so the only downside to our technique here is that you could only do the clip for so long. There is no way uh, we will be removing these pads, so um, you can't really add back what isn't there already. So when he hits the pad here, uh, the pad starts to flip up around the sides and covers up part, most of his body and so this is why we have to cut it short here and uh, we didn't compensate for this so that's why in the in the video there is no footage of him actually hitting the ground so uh, if we knew that this was going to happen we would have um, we we would have gotten another close up shot of him hitting the floor closer up you know to uh emphasize that he hit the ground but we kind of messed up here but anyway we need to uh remove this pad so what we need is what we call a clean plate a clean plate is this exact area here with um it's this area with nothing there, pretty much. So I'm going to sneak over to this one real quick and uh, figure out which clip this is. 
a clean plate is something that you film here. Well, all right. Oops. And this is our clean plate. <clears throat> it is pretty much the exact same shot. Let's see if I turn this layer off and on. These down here are, are, are video layers, if you don't know. These are um, the actual clips and their lengths and stuff. So everything on top is literally on top of the other. So the higher up layers are stacked all in this area. They're going to be stacked. The higher these things are up, the higher on top of each other they are literally on top of each other. So this is how compositing works is through uh, through these layers stacked pretty much. That's pretty much how a lot of editing does these days. So now that we have this clean plate, pretty much we we only needed this area here to uh Oh okay, yeah, let's go back and forth between here. See, this is still the exact same shot, even though these people are moving here in between these two shots, the shot is still the camera is still in the exact same place. See these lights back here don't move. So the floor is in the same place. That's that's pretty much what we need here. So what we're going to do is that we're going to create something called a mask. And what what what's going to happen here? I'm going to see if I can uh, stretch this out. Let's see if this works or not. So you guys can see. No, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh well. I was trying to get you guys like a close up or something. Anyway, what we want to do is remove this. We literally want to cut this thing out. And just like a piece of paper and scissors, that's that's how this works. So we're gonna zoom in here and we want to cut out any sign of this thing so this actually has a shadow right here so we're gonna cut that too new wait a minute this is the wrong thing we want to select our clip and do it now we are creating our spline or our mask. Boop. Now we have cut it out. So just like a piece of paper, it cut out and everything else is gone. But we want to remove we want to remove it and not keep it. So there's a setting in here that we can swap. Swap what this thing is doing here and reverse it. Um I can remember how. Oh, wait a minute. Haha, -ha, there we go. Now we're gonna go to subtract. And now our area down here is cut out. This is good. Even though it looks like a big black spot, we're get we're getting somewhere here. Now, we are, that is what our clean plate is for. So if we take our clean plate and shove it underneath, boop. Now, now the, the layer that we cut now is now on top and leave this one under there. Now, when we shove it under there, then it begins to look like that it doesn't exist. I am turning off and on this one layer, the background. So pretty much, um, 
highlight this. So inside this circle here is everything that's under it, is the clean plate. So it's just another video playing under it. That's that's this is what it is. So you can kind of see right here, I think if I turn off the top layer, yeah, that's Justin standing. That's his that's the back of his feet right here and uh we'll have to, you know, cut that. He's also casting a shadow. We also have to cut that. Yeah, I think I started another mask here. All right. <clears throat> I think we can kind of pull that in a little bit so we don't have to see that anymore. And uh, let's pull this up full res. There we go. It looks a little bit better. Now, we want to fix our mistakes here. Also, you can you can kind of see these screw ups here. So we kind of want to adjust that a little bit. And uh, this we will fix in a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is add a little bit of a feather. A feather is like it's using this line here. See, right now it's like a a clean cut. It's there's this side and then there's this side. So what we're gonna do is blend them using a feather. So we can drag this feather and now it, it starts to blend them into each other. Now depending on your situation Uh, depending on your situation, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we don't need it. I can drag it up a little bit. In a lot of situations, the these uh, feathering really does help. All right, we're good with that. Except you can kind of see a line here, so we're going to fix that real quick. Oops. There we go. I'm just going to turn it off. Anyway, all right. Now let's get to removing this spot here. Now, we don't have a clean plate necessarily for this spot. So, what we're going to do is create our own from scratch. So, a good way to do that is. Uh, See, we want. Okay, we we want our original clip here. And we are going to duplicate it. Oops, let's duplicate this one. And it doesn't really do anything to duplicate it. Now there's just two of them doing the exact same thing. We are going to use that one to only cut out a little area now I can use that area whoops let's see what in the world did I do wrong Okay. I'm going to get rid of this mask because I think that one's messing with me here. So, this is just another video on top. It's just, it's just another original. I'm going to take it, cut the area out of it. Boop. And now. Now I can move around this chunk anywhere I want to. So you can use that to cover up areas. And it still kind of looks like crap. Look at this. Looks like crap. So this is what our feather can do. See, it'll really blend that out and make it almost unnoticeable. 
Except that's still pretty noticeable right here. Let's see if we can flip it. Maybe this will help. Wait a minute. Okay, that didn't work. Ah, oh, here we go. This is our pivot point here. We're going to rotate. This might help here. Okay, that looks just as bad. <laughs> We're going to... Let's try a different area. That's mainly why this is happening here. Okay, let's try right here instead of up here. The colors really do matter in this situation. Whoops, hang on. I gotta duplicate it first. And then This one's looking a lot cleaner. We can actually scale it. I forgot about that. Let's make this entire thing bigger. Let's also bring down this pivot point. That thing can be handy. Scale. Alright. Let's rotate it slightly. And then we use our famous feather. Oh, there we go. Now that looks way, way better. Now we are almost done with this shot. Let's check it out. Let's let it do a playthrough. This is actually really slow here. So let's speed this up. This is quite slow. Okay. And that is the basic idea, I'm not going to go into fully cleaning up, you know, this area here. But the last thing is that you want to make it look like that he's actually there by creating a shadow. Now, creating a shadow, all we would need to do is create a solid. We want it to be so, uh, shadow color, black. Now, all this pretty much does is make a giant black video thing here. Yeah, but we're going to put it, yeah, okay, we're going to keep it on top. But what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it off real quick. It's still in the same spot, it's just off. I'm going to create an elliptical, an ellipse, and drag it out. Now when I turn it back on it's black in this area here. Now you may think this is a cartoon hole here but what we're gonna smooth this out creating our famous ma feather here. When we feather it it starts to look a lot more like it lo looks a lot more blendy. It's blending in here. We want this actually to be as long as his feet. So
So now what we're going to do here is called, I'm going to fix this up real quick. Now what we're going to do here is called keyframing. Now that these layers down here are done, I'm going to lock these so we don't keep messing them up or something. Then we're going to play with this shadow. Now, when he's falling, let's scroll this back out. When he's falling, we want the shadow to get bigger because he's getting, you know, because he's getting longer to the ground, I guess. You could say. So you'd select these, bring them in. All right. Make sure it's nice and small. And so it looks like a decent shadow as of right now, but we could also turn down the opacity. That's probably something we want to do, make it look a little bit better. There, no, it's a little bit more like a shadow. So we're going to go back in and we're going to do a keyframe, which is when you do a keyframe, it's all these little dots here on this yellow spline are saved in a certain position when you turn on keyframing. So as of right now, when I'm on frame one, I'm going to be all the way to the front of the video clip. I am going to Whoops. I'm going, oh, here it is. This is the little watches here. Now we want to click Mask Path. So when we select this, it will, uh, we will e enable kind of like a, uh, like a stop motion kind of thing. You, you'll, you might be able to see what I'm talking about once we get going. Now, I initially click it, and it makes a little dot right here. I can't really zoom in on that, but you might be able to see it. Now, we will... Now, I can go from here. And if I move all the way somewhere else... Go down, I'm going to highlight these, and stretch them out. I'm going to pull the middle parts back a little bit. Now, what you've noticed is that it, we also created another keyframe automatically. So now, when I highlight this and play the video clip, it goes from the first point to the second point that I set. And it stretches and stretches until, you know, however you want it to stop. And so that kind of gives it a uh, little bit of a feeling of shadows and it, it helps you sell the effect. It's not perfect as of right now, um, it's a lot more perfected in our other scene here. It looks a lot better. There's no, there's no uh, old um, shadows that we had to remove. Well, we did remove them as they were here. Let's go back to to the original and. So it looks pretty good. And uh, I think that's it for this time. And I'll see you soon.